What are you doing? The name's John Stanford. Collecting evidence of trademark fraud isn't exactly a noble occupation, but it keeps the bank manager at bay. Then we will have no work. Already we do this for no money until we've paid back our passageways. You must help us. I'm sorry, you'll have to take it to the authorities. But they will send us packing back to Bombay. Look, this really is not my affair. You see, I'm... Quite an heirloom. Did it go off by itself, or did you fire it deliberately? Get out. I see. Well, in that case, you leave me no choice. Smile. Ah! My apologies to the Punjab. Freedom, Sahib. You're a holy man. We will follow you. No, I'm not a holy man. I'm a private investigator. I can't help you. But, but my, my wife says that you love us. What? My wife says that Westerner wisdom is that if you love someone, you will set them free. You have set us free. But we have nowhere else. Swami? Ah, Mr. Stanford! My most honored customer. 
I thought you were never coming back. Well, I haven't been eating out much lately. No one is coming back. They eat, and they are never seen again. Why is that, do you think? I need your help, Ferris, Mummy. All you have to do is ask, Mr. Stanford. I have some friends who need somewhere to stay for a few days. Now, you have some rooms out the back. They are not suitable accommodation for any of your friends. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Uh, Ferris Wami. These are my friends. These? Yes. They'll be more than happy to earn their keep. Frighten the cockroaches, force customers inside at gunpoint. I'll be in your debt forever. Forever? Does that mean you speak strong words to the food critic of the Times about the non-complimentary things he's writing on my curries? And then you break his door caps? Uh, possibly. In that case, we have a contract. You sign. I'll fill in the detail. Gentlemen, I see the Hang Seng Index is looking distinctly bullish. In the car. Excuse me. Good morning, John. Goodbye, gentlemen. How lucky for me you just happened to be in the area. And your luck's holding. I'm going to take you to breakfast. Since you were following Huey and Louie, perhaps you can explain what it was they wanted with me. I really don't know. Just a couple of foot soldiers following orders. We have a clues. YC Kung. YC Kung? The old warlord of Kowloon. I know his days are numbered in Hong Kong, but I can't see them laying out the welcome mat for him here in Singapore either. Maybe that's why CIN's been employed to keep an eye on him. Still doesn't explain what they were doing going after me. Well, if you just agree to work for CIN, John, you might find out. Oh, come on. You know I wouldn't last until morning tea in a big corporation like that. <laughs> As for one dumb enough to put a meathead like Carter in charge of a Singapore bureau. Carter's only temporary, a bit like you, John. The lone detective has about as much future as the rhino or the poet. I'd rather be extinct than join the corporate zoo. Hello. I thought your philandering days were over. They are, they are. Excuse me. John, I wanted to meet Lily. Lily Ho, John Stanford. I'm honored to meet you, Mr. Stanford. John, please. I think you may be overstating it a little. At least now I know why we came here for breakfast. Nice tea? Please. Be warned, John. I'm just a corporate investigator. She prefers the romantic myth of private eyes like you. <laughs> How many private eyes do you know? You're my first real one. Oh. Conrad says they're trash. Well, it's a trashy business. Conrad also says he owes you his life. If anything, I think I owe him mine.
Coach John, you're going to be my best man? You're getting married? Yes. When? End of the month. Yeah. Well, good. I mean, congratulations. Of course I'll be your best man. Then one of you will have to tell me how you met. Yes, John, I know what you're thinking. You can't work in the field, even for CIN, and have a successful marriage. But, uh... That's why I'm taking over from Carter, running the Singapore Bureau. You, lying at desk. Just as soon as I've cleaned up a few things. Like YC Kung. Like YC Kung. Are you going to sit here forever, YC, carrying out your heart? They came for me. I should have been there. But you weren't. Instead, you're alive to avenge them. But not by sitting here. Yes, you're right. What do you have for me? Our people in Hong Kong have confirmed it was definitely. One of them must die. being followed. Black BMW. Tinted windows. You knew? Very good. If I were really good, I'd know why it was following us. Mr. S. Not nearly bad enough to deserve a visit from Captain Feroz. I won't bother with the have you got a warrant routine, Feroz, but what are you doing here? License to operate as a private investigator, please, Mr. Sanford. Also that box, please. Your receipts for all these books? Only for the ones I stole. It is cancelled. You're no longer permitted to operate as a private investigator in the Republic of Singapore. There must be some reason, or is it just sheer vindictiveness on your part? Apart from a history of arrogant disregard for our laws, your illegal breaking into the VJ Dax clothing factory disrupted an official operation against trademark fraud that Mr. Carter and the CIN had been conducting for some months. Carter? At least Carter and the CIN know their place. They're responsible corporate citizens. Whereas you are just another washed up white man on the wrong beach.
must apologize for the violence of my employees. Having failed once, they overcompensated. Yam Singh? Yam Singh. It's been a long time, I see. Yes, it has. And I've not forgotten that I owe my reputation as a man not to be trifled with to a newspaper reporter named Stamford. But I didn't drag you here to reminisce. Does face mean anything to you? Yes. Lisa. Lisa Hahn. Of course, that wasn't the name on her false passport. You were employed to find her. And you traced her to Australia. Two weeks ago, she was brutally murdered in Sydney. She and her young son, my grandson. Your daughter? I had no idea. I mean, nothing in the papers, no reports, details. I had them suppressed. Who was responsible? I received this shortly afterwards. And you wouldn't be talking to me if you knew who they were. I know what they represent. I want you to tell me their names. Now, wait a minute. The people who hired me to find your daughter, they're not murderers. I think that's for me to decide. Who hired you? I'm not sure I can tell you that. Look, I understand your need for vengeance, but that doesn't mean I can help you get it. I want to know who gave the order. Why me? You could hire half the FBI if you wanted. <laughs> you underestimate yourself. And I no longer have a license. I doubt that will stop you. $10,000. 90000 more upon completion. Christ. I know that money is not your option. However, living here in Singapore unemployed... Why, see? Even if I could take on this job, which I can't, there's no way I could guarantee I could find out who killed your daughter and her son. I think you will, John, if you value your life. Someone has to pay, and better the killers than you who simply led them to her, don't you think? You have one week. Someone has to pay, and better the killers than you who simply led them to her, don't you think? You have one week. Did it tell you why? Trouble or sex? Why else would you come to see me? I can't have a combination of the two. Then it's just not my store of communist secrets that you want. <laughs> it's good to see you. Perhaps you should reserve judgment on that. So it's trouble. John, <laughs> don't have to bribe me. Let's be Where did you earn that kind of money? I haven't yet. And getting to spend it may be difficult. I want you to look after it for me. And then if I should suddenly fall off a high building, well, I'll uh, keep it. For this, I might be tempted to throw you off myself. Join the queue. YC Kung's got first option. Big, big trouble. I need to know everything you've got on YC tomorrow. Otherwise, this could be the start of a wake. Mine. Where the hell is he? How would I know? You're the one who's been following him. Meaning you, he? Hmm? John Stanford is your friend. Shouldn't you tell him what you're doing? 
I wasn't really sure myself till now. Anyway, John knows I'm... Does he also know you've put an electronic tracking device in that taxi he uses? <laughs> so, you're living out your fictional fantasies now, are you? Mm -hmm. Lily Ho, the P.I. who loves me. Uh, I'm serious. I promise. I'll talk to John tonight. So we used to keep an eye on YC. His hatred for communism was directed toward Beijing rather than the Soviet Union, which meant my employers in Moscow had no direct contact. So apart from the usual suspects, you can't think of anyone who'd want to kill him? Yet. Any number of his old gangster enemies. He's been with more or less for years. Who hired you to find a daughter? Conrad Wolf. It was a CIN job. Conrad had to go to Berlin for a couple of weeks, so he palmed it off to me on the quad. said it was just a custody case. Then he's the one you must talk to. What about the son-in-law, Lisa's husband? Yes. Executed in China last year. Financial crimes against the state. Fabricated? I could see what I could find out. And why use CIN Singapore to find Lisa? Standard procedure. We always thought when planning an assassination to lay as many false trails and implicate as many people as possible. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Time for a chat with Conrad. And if you only have a week, I don't suppose you can wait until the morning. Hmm? One hour? You know you're not welcome around CIN, Mr. S. How are you going to get in? Leave it to me, Charlie. Makes a change from the old burning paper under the smoke detectors, Jono. We're both dead if Carter finds you here. Oh, I'll be quick. You don't know where Conrad is, do you? No. Not answering his pager either. Let's go to the file then. About four months ago, Conrad flicked me a search job. Lisa Hahn. Just when I was about to crack the Citadel of the Virgin Death Star. Who's the client who ordered the job? Conrad won't tell you? Sometimes it's better to know the answer before you ask the question. Nothing in the files on a Lisa Hahn. Nothing in the custody line for over 12 months. What if it originated in one of the other bureau? Hong Kong, Sydney, Bangkok. It'd still be there. Shit. Evening, Mr. Carter. Stanford. Security monitors picked him up downstairs 10 minutes ago. Seen him? So that's who it was. I thought I caught a glimpse of someone going into Conrad's office. Then why didn't you call someone, you little creep? What do you think we pay you for? What's all this shit? That, Mr. Carter, is the Citadel of the Virgin Death Star. Many have tried, but only a chosen few. Yeah? Well, let me tell you something, pal. I don't like you. 
the way you dress, not your attitude, not your, your whiz-bang, smart-ass way with these machines. But you're on your bike, and I'll make sure it hasn't got a saddle. Comprendo? Yes, Mr. Carter, sir. Can I have my glasses back, please? How do you work for that cretin? Easy. I know he's about to be transferred to New Zealand. So you know about Conrad taking over? We know everything. Do you know if the file could have been erased? Only by a genius like me. Conrad? He's even more electronically challenged than you are. Try a trace on this black BMW. Restricted access. That's police chief and above. What you got there is one seriously secret BMW. Uh-oh. It's on the move again. That's not Carter. Must be a client. No, that's David Chan, corporate lawyer. Handles all the heavy stuff for the Steiger Group. Acquisitions, takeovers, tax avoidance. He's hardly likely to need CIN. I still reckon he's a client. I've seen his name. I think they're for you. Give the security clerk for a moment while I get out of here. I can feel that bike with no saddle already. Good evening, Captain. What is it this time? Moving with intent to jaywalk? Failure to flush? Murder, Mr. Stan. Is this your jacket? Yeah. Do you own a gun? How long have you known Mr. Wolf? Six years. Six years tomorrow. How did you meet? We shared a cell in Burma. Captured by the Shan army, about to be executed. Conrad came in to get me up. And this is how you repaired him. What? Preliminary forensic on your jacket indicates it's been recently used to muffle a handgun. For God's sake, Oros, he was my friend. And I've got more alibis than the Pope. Yours? Yes. Tennyson, please open the book. Even if you didn't kill Mr. Wolf, we hang drug dealers in Singapore, Mr. Stamford.
The best lawyer in Singapore is David Chen. He's a corporate lawyer. I want a criminal lawyer. He'll be easier to kill in prison. If someone has gone to the trouble of making John Stamford look like a heroin dealer and a killer, when he is certainly neither, then that same someone has also begun to worry. You are assuming whoever killed Wolf also killed your daughter? They may have no connection. Yes, but if they do, John Stamford will find it. He's a good man. I would regret having to kill him. In the meantime, get him out. Inspector Lau. What a mess you've got yourself into this time, John. Now, you don't seriously think I'm a drug-dealing murderer, do you? No. And probably my colleague Feroz doesn't either. His family was by the British Army during the Malayan emergency. He was not fond of colonials. They're not my favorite kind of people either. But we were all colonials once, now. Anyway, you're free to go, for the moment. Just when I was beginning to enjoy it here. I'm sorry. But your lawyer is insisting we release you. He's a man of some influence. What lawyer? Henry Mahmoudi, you did employ him. I must have. What's the chemical analysis on the heroin? I don't know what you mean. Well, come off it, Lau. Nowadays, you can just about tell which end of the field the poppies were grown. Nine months ago, we seized a shipment from the Chinese paper, Xinzi Lan. Understand that six kilos found in your apartment had an identical chemical profile. Any arrests? Since sealed cargo containers, no case against the captain or the crew. Singapore suspects? We don't believe the shipment was for Singapore, but since the land was bound for San Francisco. Where were the containers loaded? Rangoon, Burma. Back in a minute.
your black BMW. A mystery woman. What's she doing here, I wonder? What's the number of her car phone? It mightn't be quite such a state secret as who owns the car. That David Chang guy you said wasn't a CIN client? Hmm? Well, I thought I'd pull the files, you know, prove I was right. But the funny thing is, he wasn't there. How'd you know that? Punch. A what? Punch. Remnant of the days before the computer replaced the brain. Maybe you imagined it and there never was a file. Look, one of the benefits of my computers is that they can't forget. Even if the information is wiped, there's always an electronic shadow in the memory. Believe me, somebody wiped a Chan file. A genius like you. And not just a Chan file. There are a couple of other holes in the memory, posed out on the same day four weeks ago. So Lisa's file could have been erased at the same time? Possibly. I met Lisa a couple of times. She had a fashion company in Hong Kong. I did the hair and makeup for her models at the Tokyo showings one year. When I first met Conrad, he used to ask me about her. What sort of questions? Well, more about her father than her. Lily, this is important. When did Conrad tell you about Lisa Hahn being killed? A couple of weeks ago, just before he started keeping an eye on you. Seems he kept fewer secrets from you than he did from me. Any chance he could have been freelancing outside CIN? I don't think so. Neither do I, but it had to be something pretty hush-hush. Talked to Berlin a lot, used the super scrambled hotline. Even I can't listen in on that one. Conrad would never have done anything to hurt you, John. Conrad. Conrad. Not interested in the cash. Mr. Box. Chan is here, Mr. That's Steiger. Me. I'm not, no. Whatever's in their portfolio, I don't care. Really? Will you tell them the deal's off? No, they'll be back. We've already stiffed the other buyers. <sighs> be with you in a moment, Dave. Goddamn Deutschmark stuff's jerking off. Huh? Oh, I'll bet on it. I'll bet your job on it. So nice of you to come, David. I know with the amount of money I pay you, you don't have much of it. I love these bullshit courtesies. So, who killed Conrad Wolf? No matter what the police think, it wasn't John Stanford. I thought perhaps you did, Mr. Steiger. Me? Not me. But somebody did. That means we have a problem. I want you to get to the bottom of it before John Stanford does. Very grateful, Sahib. And if my wife and I are blessed with any more sons, they shall all be called in your name. To the kitchen with you, Sharma! And stop fucking up the cooking! I shall make you something terribly delicious, Sahib. Don't worry. I'll not permit him to do that. I'm not sure about these wipers you put in my bosom. They work hard. I think they are poisoning the foods. Really? How can you tell? Gentlemen, lady, welcome, welcome! Want a beer? Thanks. You don't actually eat here, do you? No, eating's all right. Just like. What do you got? You're right about that black BMW car phone to a Carlos Singer. UK passport, credit cards issued in Bonn, London, Paris. Travels a lot. But who the hell is she? Thought says she's a journalist. Hello, John. Uh, who else is our? Carlos Singer. 
No. But I could see what I could find out. Is she beautiful? Can't be. She's following me. Actually, I was about to call you. YC son-in-law. It appears that his execution had nothing to do with money. He was arrested, tried, and shot in southern Yunnan province, a small town called Menglian. Menglian? Close to the Burmese border. On the road to Mandalay. Thanks, Tamara. You want your money back? No, we have a contract. We still have four days. Did you kill Conrad Wolf? Why would I? He's the one who asked me to find your daughter. He was interested in your uh, presence in Singapore. Yes, your friend was always curious about my activities. What was your son-in-law doing in Manglian, apart from getting himself shot? The same thing you were doing six years ago, except he got caught in China, not Burma. And he did have Conrad Wolf to rescue him. He was following the heroin trail? Isn't that what you were doing? I was trying to find out whether there was more heroin coming out of the triangle than the opium crop could produce. We all know the answer to that. Yeah, the Chinese produce the heroin in Yunnan, then ship it to the world through Burma and the Shan Army drug lords. But it's never been proved. Without evidence, it's just another piece of American propaganda. My son-in-law had evidence. Then what the hell do you need me for? If you've got evidence of opium production in Yunnan, then it was a Chinese hit squad from the Department for Special Affairs that killed your family. Possibly. But I need you to prove it. Threatening to kill me isn't much of a bloody incentive. Probably not. But I'm like you. Old-fashioned. A victim of tradition. I have sworn an oath on the blood of my ancestors. Someone will die for the murder of my family. It's an oath I cannot break. So, killing me is nothing personal. I just happen to be handy. No, John, you're more than that. For some time now, I have avoided violence. I deeply regret having to return to it. There'll be no joy in killing you. I am sorry. It's hardly going to make my day, either. <laughs> Thank you for the whiskey. Most of it. Think carefully, Lily. Did Conrad ever mention him, let slip anything about opium or heroin? No, but... But what? Well, sometimes he'd make a phone call and he'd be secretive about it. I thought maybe old girlfriends. So sometimes I pressed the recall button. And? Twice I got a number in Washington, D.C. The Drug Enforcement Administration. Time to drop a depth charge. See what comes up. You've reached double nine eight two one two three. Please leave a message. John Stamford. Your place or mine, Miss Singer.
I hope you won't think me rude, but this will have to be brief. I have an important appointment to keep. Then I'll get right to the point. I'm told you have certain skills I can avail myself of. You don't mind doing business with a woman? I'm a pragmatist, Miss Singer. Good. So am I. How can I help you, I see? Kill John Stamford. Thousands of these boatmen once. They're a dying breed. Better dying than dead. How did you know it was me? Eternity. Your car it smells good. Now you know my phone number and my perfume. What more can you need? Hard information. Who the hell are you, Carla Singer? Actually. You're no more a journalist than Rupert Murdoch is. I was going to say I'm a professional assassin, but it's not something I normally mention at dinner parties. Hey, Conrad's personal things. Do you, you want to be on your own for a few minutes? Thanks. Don't you bloody knock. I was about to. Lily Ho's in Conrad's office. I thought you just want to say hello. She's got no clearance. Who let her in? I did. She's just going to pick up his stuff. It will get her out too, sweet. Can't we just give her a minute? I said get her out. No. OK, darling, off you go. And don't touch me, and this is 3IN property. Just take him, Lily. I'm really sorry about all this. Just have had enough of you, your big mouth. Her bloody boyfriend was after my job. You didn't know that, did you? Did you? Leave him alone! <laughs> Unreal! Where'd you learn how to do that? I take lessons. That's how I met Conrad. No, I didn't kill Conrad. Could you tell me if you had? Probably not. Like you, I was his friend. And like you, he was following me. Why? You're as good as he said you were. You must have started to put it together. I think it's time you got to the point, Miss Singer. Hi. You ready to eat now? When Lisa Han was killed, Conrad saw the shadow of Burma. Heroin. You. He must have known Lisa was YC's daughter when he asked me to track her down. But didn't expect she'd be killed. No. Who gave him the job? Carter. Thanks, Amy. You seem to know a lot. After Lisa, Conrad thought things might get nasty. He wanted me to wash your back. And his. He did a great job. He wasn't shot in the back. And if you hadn't been delayed by your Russian girlfriend, who knows? One week's notice, sunshine. 
If it weren't for head office, I'd throw you down the bloody stairs now. You so much as look at me sideways and I'll... Get out. Carter. Oh, Mr. Steiger. You're an honor and a privilege, sir. Burma was an obsession for Conrad. I know. But for Conrad to go chasing Chinese opium again, there had to be something new in the equation. I don't follow. Conrad always felt that the United States Drug Enforcement Administration was one of the great frauds. Not what he told CIN head office. All the DEA wants is to keep drugs out of America, supposedly. But they're not interested in preventing its manufacture. Conrad wouldn't go risking everybody's life, including his own just to prove the Chinese are still doing what we know they've been doing since the Korean War. There had to be a better reason. Maybe we'll never know what it was. We might well not, but if I want to see the next new moon, I have to. Is it that you don't trust me, or simply that you don't like me? My old chief at the South China Morning Post used to say that the best way to tell if someone was lying was to ask yourself whether you'd still believe them if they were naked. And? Haven't been game to try it since I interviewed Richard Nixon. Stanford, you might have to trust me. But in who's in? I want the same thing you do. Conrad's killer. Yes, but not for the same reasons. Because who or whatever you really are, Miss Singer, you were never a close friend of Conrad's. You think I look like Richard Nixon with my clothes on? Put it this way. This whole nightmare may be tied up with Burma, drugs, CIN sucking up to the DEA for commercial advantage, whatever. But for Conrad, it would have been personal. He felt responsible for the deaths of Lisa Hahn and her little boy. And whatever lies he may have told CIN, it was that guilt that would have sent him after the killers. Can I give you a lift? Why not? If you survive this nightmare, as you call it, what are you going to do? Get drunk for Conrad. Then do what I normally do, get on with the next case. Isn't that a waste of your talent? The professional assassin as career advisor. Novel. At least one day I'll be able to stop being alone. Will you? Don't you have people to kill? Now, this isn't a complaint, but why the hell would you want David Chan to see us kissing? See us, but not identify us. Care to explain? Chan's looking for you. How do you know? Ask him. His answer might be interesting. Thanks for the kiss. There's a rumor going round you're looking for me. Very impressive. Not half as impressive as the fact you knew where to find me. I didn't. Steiger said you might be here. Alex Steiger? He'd like to talk to you. Really? Why? I think I'd let him tell you that.
Mr. Staff and Mr. Chen are here to see you, sir. John Stafford. Pleased to meet you. Let's hope it's mutual. Your PI license, renewed for three years. In this town, even the Pope wouldn't get dispensation longer than that. Does it come with a price? And I was told you were a subtle man. CIN's assessment of character was never its strong suit. Here. No strings attached. It's meant to make me look impressive and you, hopefully, a little grateful. I'm impressed. And grateful. Like hell you are. But here, go ahead. I don't expect to buy your soul with a book. The Nuremberg Chronicle of 1493. For this, you'd probably get my soul. A young Albrecht Dürer cut one of the illustration blocks. I can't accept this. It's worth at least $35,000. Thanks, but no. You think I can't afford it, or you got something against Dürer? Like most forms of self-abuse, the acquisition of precious books can make you go blind. Yeah, but only momentarily. David, are you staying for lunch? Thank you, no. I have the Empire to protect. Listen, you don't have to take the job if you don't want it. But if you don't take the book, I'll burn it. Now that's impressive. John Stafford's not here. It's you I want to talk to. Funny old soul. John Stanford taught it to Conrad in a Burmese prison. How do you know that? Never mind. What do you want? Help. Stanford doesn't trust me, but he's not going to live much longer if he tries to do this on his own. You have a healthy appetite for a condemned man. For the morrow we die. On my side of town, you don't get to see a lot of the 37 D. Kem. Oh, yeah? It's overpriced and overrated. You said something about a job. Unlike the wine, you are neither overrated or overpriced. So here's the deal. You get a quarter of a million dollars, which you get to keep whether you succeed or not. And another hundred thousand dollars when you pull it off. Thank you. Looks like I've been undercharging. Or is the job impossible? You have to negotiate the handover of material from YC Cone. You have a relationship with him, and he will not deal with me directly. Why not? YC and the boys in Beijing are not the best of buddies, and I have a heavy involvement in that runaway train the Chinese like to refer to as their economic miracle. And when the Chinese get back Hong Kong, I get to take over some of the businesses YC is going to be forced to vacate. I'm talking about a lot of money here. Well, if money won't buy this material, there is one thing I can think of that might make YC hand it over. I thought you might. This material. The original of that. What's the point? Could have been copied a thousand times. That's another reason why I want to hire you. I'm sure that YC will tell you whether there are copies or not. Like yourself, he's a member of the old school. What he wants is whoever killed his daughter and grandson. Ah, my people have been staying close to YC for the last couple of months. 
We don't have a smoking gun, but we do have a theory on the killer. And a lot of circumstantial. It's all in there. Wait a minute. Can you stop it? Yeah, no. Roll it back a bit. And freeze it there. What's that? Is that some sort of Chinese character? Could be a lot of things. Why? Have a good look. Sure you don't know what it means? You can only see part of it. Maybe it's not Chinese at all. I see his son-in-law must have got the tape out of China before he was shot. Certainly shows they're producing heroin in Yunnan. A lot of heroin. Is that why Lisa was killed? Why Conrad died? Not sure it's quite that simple. This is heavy stuff. Big players. Beijing, the Triangle, the future of Hong Kong. Billions of dollars in business and drugs. The last battle of the Cold War. The only thing that doesn't fit is Singapore. Except that Steiger's here. Hmm. According to this, Carla Singer was in Australia when Lisa Han was killed. Can you check that out? John, uh, the CIN file says Carla Singer is poison. And you know how I feel about CIN. Okay, I'll check it. I'll run these through the scanner too, just in case they're fakes. Thanks. Don't know if it means anything, John, but uh, Conrad had a laptop that was tuned into the global positioning system. Used it for tracking vehicles. Saw Carter playing with it yesterday. Yeah. Conrad used it on Charlie's taxi. I wonder if it's still working. Do you think Carla Singer killed them? I don't know. What did she want with you? She asked me to tell her what you were doing, where you were going. She said that maybe you might get killed that she could protect you. John, I'm sorry. I believed her. Well, that's all right. She may even be telling the truth. Or part of it. And I need all the help I can get. Maybe you should give her a call. Tell her where I'm going. Tiger. Thank you. Black BMW. But the night has a thousand eyes. Being clever again. When you get a moment, take a look on your roof under the taxi sign. You'll see a little black box GPS navigation device. For what? In case you get lost. It tells you where you are to within half a meter anywhere in the world, or anyone else, for that matter. I've never been lost. Then you're very lucky, Charlie.
an hour, okay? John. Hello, Tamara. <sighs> I need your mind, Tamara. And someone to hold my hand through all this. She may really be a killer, but it's possible that she's the dirty jobs man for your friend at CIN. Can you keep this for me as well? Same rules. More money? <gasps> my friends are starting to worry about you, John. Chinese Secret Service are making inquiries about you. The least of my problems. Nostrovia. say that YC threatens to use the tape against the communist government, which he hates. But then, why does a copy of the tape end up with Steiger in Singapore? Apart from strong business links between Steiger and Beijing, we don't know. Meanwhile, YC, afraid for the safety of his family, takes them to Australia, where someone murders them. Conrad starts to follow YC. Yes, yes, yes. The rules of this game is that you must begin at the beginning. Remember, you are a character in this, not just someone trying to understand. Conrad and Stanford, once in Burma, for the same reason essentially as him, become friends and end up in Singapore. So now everybody's in Singapore. YC, Steiger, Conrad and me. Does this mean anything to you? Could it be Russian? Some sort of Cyrillic? Yeah. The thing is, I've seen it before. In Burma. I'd been caught trying to photograph a processing lab close to the Thai border. They took me back to their base. It was stacked with the chemicals they use for processing the raw morphine into heroin. All made by the same company. But who? It's worth a try. I'll right, stop there. Bring it in a little closer. Hold it right there. Yes. Underneath. Go the other way. It's a logo. Steiger. John, please be very careful. I don't have any black underwear to wear to your funeral. <laughs> do what you always do. Don't wear any.
Carter. How did you get in here? Who did you tell where Charlie's cab was today? I don't know what you're talking about. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. You'll tell me, Carter. Because if you don't, I'm going to throw you through that bloody window. <laughs> you? Johnny Stanford? Never hits anyone, doesn't drink beer, doesn't drive. I just made an exception for Charlie and Conrad. Stiker's lawyer, Chan, like the other day. I told you I don't. Oh, OK, OK. It wasn't Chan. It was Oak Steiger. Jesus, Carter. You really give stupidity a bad name. I'm really sorry, John. Why, Charlie? Steiger in China. Got anything? It's a big list. It covers everything the Steiger Group does everywhere, with one exception. The Yunnan Alkaloid Corporation. Alkaloid? As in certain well-known painkillers? That's the one. Here. Yeah. Land China Shipping Line. Can you run a list of all their ships? Any particular one? One called the Shenzhi Line. Significance? A ship owned by Steiger carrying heroin. The same batch of heroin that was planted in my apartment when Conrad was shot. Trespass, assault, destruction of CIN and telecom property. And by God, I'm pressing charges. Don't suppose they're going to give me the pleasure of resisting arrest? Giving you pleasure, Captain Feroz, is not one of my priorities. You know to find me, Tony. Not the exit I would have chosen. You can drive a bloody car, too. Yes, but I choose not to. I'm sorry about Charlie. I need your help. Does this mean you trust me now? Or you found out who I really am? I don't know who anybody really is, but I think you have some sort of connection to CIN. And you've managed to convince Lily that you have my best interests at heart. You don't believe it? Perhaps you should try your naked test of truth. I don't think we've got that much time.
His time is almost up. Do you have a message? He'll deliver what you ask at dawn. The details are in there. into the Stiger computer network. But my computers led me straight into Stiger's own personal terminal. It's like they've left a file behind that's led me straight in. You've never hacked him before? No. But they must have hacked into us. He raised files. Lisa Han, Chan. <laughs> Cheeky buckers. Check. Jesus. You're a computer genius, David. What's the story? Stamford. The kid at CI is good enough to get in. Stanford's pulled it off. Oh, it's an ambush. Mate. You've been watching YC for some time. What's he doing with the tape of the Yunnan drug industry? Unless the Chinese allow him to keep his Hong Kong businesses going after they take the place over. He's threatened to take the tape to the media and the American DEA. I assume that's why they killed his family. The government that massacres its own people with the whole world watching? What's a little heroin? Do you think they really give a damn what anybody thinks? Sorry about the clothes. If Beijing doesn't care, then maybe Steiger does. If he's trying to get the tape back so the Chinese would allow him to inherit YC's Hong Kong empire, then wouldn't he also be capable of having Lisa Han killed? Well, possibly. But Lisa, Conrad, Charlie, supposed to be me, gotta be the same killer. If Steiger was behind that car bomb, he wouldn't have given me a quarter million dollars the day before. I mean, why waste the money? Why not just kill me? Maybe YC got impatient. He offered me the job of killing you. Uh, perhaps you should have taken it. I did. You should have built your empire here in Singapore, instead of Hong Kong. They would have hanged me here. Long ago. Your message said you would deliver a killer to me. Do so and you run free. With $90,000. I don't want your money. You get your killer, 
I get Conrad and Charlie's. Payment enough. One question. You hand over the tape. What happens to your Hong Kong empire after the takeover? You lose your bargaining power with Beijing. You are very well informed. If I had to choose between an oath to my family's honor and a future in Hong Kong under communism, there is no choice. I take it the man to whom I'm to deliver this master tape is bringing in the killer? If he isn't, we're both in trouble. Alexander Stagger, alone. Where's the killer you promised me? Stagger? Killed my daughter and my grandson? We're about to find out. John? Where's YC? Right here, Alex. Stanford. God's name. Why in hell did you do that? He gave me a contract. Stanford's used by date had expired. I thought he was a friend of yours. Jesus, what is this crap? It's what you wanted too, isn't it, Mr. Steiger? You tried to get rid of him? Got Conrad and Charlie instead. Just as you got Lisa Han and her son. That's bullshit. I haven't killed anyone since Saigon was. I guess you don't count the kids dying with needles in their arms, courtesy of the Yunnan Alkaloid Corporation. No, I goddamn don't. I manufacture morphine for hospitals. I have no control over what the Chinese Secret Service do with their surplus crop. So you're telling me all you get for the tapes is YC's Hong Kong businesses? What do you mean, all? We're talking about more than just a couple of chop suey joints here, aren't we, YC? It's not about what I get. It's about what I lose if I don't get the tapes. I got a shitload of money in China. You can come untied real fast if you don't have the Chinese government on your side. Are you saying you're not responsible for the murder of my daughter? I thought she did it. Not me. You killed him, didn't you? I'm sorry, my friend. You created the mess. I'll leave you to clean it up. Why, well, see, I need that tape. No, I don't have my killer on it. Maybe you and I can work out this Hong Kong thing. I don't think so. David. You. Over there. David. Please put down the tape. David, this isn't necessary. I don't need you here. You killed Charlie and Conrad, as well as YC's daughter and grandson. The tape. You murdered for the tape? What good is it to you? Everything. When Beijing is ready to release them, It'll show how an American company allowed into China to manufacture pharmaceuticals betrayed the Chinese government and produced heroin instead. Son of a bitch, you're setting me up. All your business enterprises will be seized. I will control them on behalf of the People's Republic. And now, I'm afraid you must die. You drive and you hit people. 
Not such a gentleman after all. Close as you'll get to one. Thank you, John. Excuse me. I'm feeling pretty dumb here. Who set this whole thing up? Who do you think? Yeah, I have some pretty rotten ideas sometimes. Why, well, see. Why did he have to slaughter them? To prove his dedication to Beijing. To implicate Steiger. Conrad was a mistake. Chan was trying to set me up on a drug charge to stop me investigating your daughter's murder. Conrad walked in when he was planting stuff in my apartment. Why, well, see, John's right. The bastard's not worth it. I've taken an oath in blood. His trial will hurt his Beijing masters a hell of a lot more than killing him will. The gun, why, see? Get up. Just as well you can shoot straight. herself, especially for you. I knew what. I speak of the word of the life. John? Carla? Very swami just made a, a no two very bad jokes. One about you being my boss. I'm coming in out of the cold. Taking over CIN in Singapore. I don't work for CIN. You do if you want your license back. Since you insisted on giving away all that money, you're going to need a job. I'll have to think about it. To Conrad and Charlie. Conrad and Charlie. And what was Veraswamy's other very bad joke? Oh, I forget. Puffadums, Mr. Stanford? Did I not tell you? She has the sweet feeling for you. She speaks not a word of a life. <laughs> 